we are going to look at this the mystical process of differentiation. Put at its simplest, differentiation is just the process of finding an expression for the gradient of a curve at any point. If you think about a straight line, to find its gradient, you generally draw a triangle somewhere on the line. You find the difference in y's and you find the difference in x. And the gradient of a straight line we define as the change in y over the change in x. And a straight line has the same gradients no matter where you draw that triangle. If you think about a curve, then the gradient of a curve is different to every point on the curve. The gradient of a curve is found by imagining the point on the curve where you want to find the gradient, drawing a straight line which just touches the curve at the point you want to find the gradient, and this straight line is actually called the tangent, and then you find the gradient of that straight line. So again, you would find the change in y over the change in x of that straight line. But that whole process, if you had to do it for every point on the curve, would take a long time. There is a formula which helps you find an expression for the gradient of a curve at any point on the curve. This process is called differentiation. So if the equation of your curve is y equals x to the power n, then the process of differentiation enables you to find an expression for the gradient of the curve. We denote the gradient by dy by dx. And the formula for doing that is nx to the n minus 1. So you bring the power to the front and you take one away from the power. So if we differentiate something, one or two very, very simple expressions, to see how this works. So suppose you want to differentiate, first of all, y is equal to x to the power seven. When we differentiate, dy by dx is equal to, bring the power to the front and take one away from the power. So you get seven x to the power six. And it actually is as easy as that. So let's look at another one. Suppose you want to differentiate 3x to the power 5. Again, differentiate, you get dy by dx. Keep the 3, bring the 5 to the front and take one away from the power. And then 3 times 5 is 15, so it's 15x to the power 4. You can also differentiate several terms joined together. So suppose we have y equals 4x to the power 7 plus 2x to the power 3. If we're going to differentiate that, then dy by dx is equal to, in one step I'm going to bring the power to the front, so I'm actually going to get 4 times 7 x to the power 6 plus 2 times, bring the power to the front, take one away from the power. So ultimately I will have 28 that dy by dx is equal to 28 x to the power 6 plus 6 x squared. One more simple one, y is equal to 5 x to the power 6 minus 3x to the power 4 plus 2x to the power 2. dy by dx, differentiating dy by dx, I'm going to bring the power to the front, so I've got 5 times 6, which is 30x to the power 5, minus, bring the power to the front, so I'll have 3 times 4, which is 12x to the power 3, Bring the power to the front, so I'll have 2 times 2, which is 
x to the power 1. And the power of 1 you generally tend not to write in, so you'd actually write 30x to the power 5 minus 12x cubed plus 4x. There are one or two occasions where things might seem a little bit more difficult, but actually the process is exactly the same. So let's look at what happens when you differentiate something like 7x to the power 1. So suppose you want to differentiate y equals 7x. As I've said before, there is a power of 1, but you tend not to write it in order. This time I'm going to, so you can see what happens. So when we differentiate this, dy by dx, bring the power to the front, so it's 7 times 1, x, take 1 away from the power, and 1 take away 1 is 0. Now, if you remember back from when you were doing indices, x to the power 0, in fact, anything to the power 0, is just 1. So this expression just becomes 7 times 1 times 1, which is just 7. In other words, when you differentiate 7x, you get 7. So let's join that into a whole example. Suppose you want to differentiate y equals 3x to the power 4 minus 2x squared plus 5x. Differentiate dy by dx is 4 times 3, which is 12x to the power 3, minus 2 times 2, which is 4x to the power 1, which I leave as x. And if you differentiate 5x, you just get a number 5. The other slightly different looking sort of differentiation is when you just want to differentiate a constant. So suppose you just want to differentiate y equals 4, just a constant. Now this time I'm going to use the fact that 4 can be thought of as 4 times 1 and from above, from here, that's the same as 4x to the power 0. So when I differentiate, dy by dx gives me, bring the power to the front, so it's 4 times 0, x to the power, take away 1. But anything, anything at all times 0, just gives me 0. In other words, when you differentiate a constant, any constant, you get 0. So if I were to differentiate y equals 9, then when I differentiate that, dy by dx gives me 0. So again, joining that into a longer differentiation, if you start with x squared plus 7x minus 4, and I differentiate that, dy by dx becomes 2x to the power 1 plus 7x just becomes 7, Differentiate minus 4. If you differentiate the constant, it goes. So I started with an expression with three terms in, and I've ended up with an expression with two terms in. So finally, in this video, y is 5x to the power 4 plus 3x squared minus 4. If I differentiate that, dy by dx is 20x to the power 3 plus 6x to the power 1, which is just 6, and differentiate minus 4, you just get 0.